are at the Oklahomans Video Studio with Kara Robinson and Justin Edwards from Troctus Flowers and Garden Center. I'm Helen Ford Wallace with Parties Extra, which is brought to you by our sponsor, Party Galaxy. Welcome, you all. Thank you for having us. Well, I mean, the summer's here, you all. It, and garden pots and the gardens are blooming away. So mm -hmm. what are we going to do? Are we going to take care of them or? I think we're going to take care yes. of them. Lots of watering, uh, definitely. Yes, lots of watering. If you notice that the soil is dry or they're wilting, be sure to water. The best times are in the morning or the evening because mm -hmm. sometimes during the hot heat it burns the flowers or the leaves and it can also cause mildew and stuff. So mm -hmm. watering's good. Well, your flowers are beautiful. All Thank the you. ones that you plant in the pots or in the yard. Mm -hmm. I guess you're right. planting everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> they're yeah. all just lovely and they're all very healthy. Healthy. Oh, thank you. Thank very you. healthy. So, okay, so um, you're planting outside. So, what kind of flowers really grow best now? Well, all the heat tolerant are the best and, you know, your natives, kind of like the gallardia and perennials and things like that, that you know, can use less water, those are very good. The begonias. Begonias are good annuals. Hibiscus, Hibiscus. geraniums hibiscus are doing oh, good right so now. So colorful. You know. What colors? We have the orange, pink, red, and yellow. And, yellow. Big, yeah. and they're a good size. Oh, they're huge. Mm -hmm. They're just beautiful. Oh, you get a lot of color with the hibiscus, so uh -huh. yeah, those are great. How about vegetables? Do you all? We have a few jalapenos. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't really have that many vegetables left. Um, we um, do have a question from a viewer about vegetables. We, what causes tomatoes or green ones to split? What's that? The heat does that a lot mm -hmm. whenever there's a fluctuation in the heat and then also sometimes a calcium deficiency can cause that. Mm -hmm. So give them, some, give them a shot of calcium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, and how do we keep our plants and our flowers blooming? Do we fertilize them inside? Orchids, yes. like Definitely. orchids? or A fertilizer for orchids, it's a very low fortalizer, but everything else, a nice 14-14-14 um, is the best to use. I mean, it works all around, outside in your garden and inside on the house plants. It's, it's just... It's like a time release. Mm -hmm. so it's Osmocote. Not, you can't really even do too much. Just, mm -hmm. you know, fertilize it, comes it in and the keep little watering. Pellets. At this point, lots of water and fertilizer is going to mm -hmm. help a lot. So. Well, so, so that's pretty good, but your cut flowers, and you arrange them all. Yes, Is that's that right? my department. I work inside <laughs> in the design room and I do cut flower arrangements uh, for parties and um, events and get to work with a lot of charities and nonprofits and do a lot of things with those people. And so, Justin, you have a, a great talent. Thank you so much. You do, and Thank you arranged this. I did. This Tell us a, about it. I wanted to bring a couple different things. This one is a little more uh, funky and fun and a couple different kinds of protea, the pincushion protea and then the uh, Banksia protea. And then I also wanted to incorporate some things from the greenhouse because, you know, we're not just like a regular flower shop. We have, you know, eight greenhouses behind the shop. So uh -huh. I can go out there, get a plant, bring it in, and then you see the ivy trailing out. It's English ivy. So it's kind of a mix of the modern and a little traditional twist with the ivy. And you so. said the color is trending now, that yes. color. Yes, it's coral is very hot right now that uh -huh. you see in the ribbon and Kara's even wearing that color. <laughs> Good for so you, she's Kara. right on point. But yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of coral. We're seeing that in a lot of the weddings as oh, well. Oh, and you do have summer weddings. We are very, very much uh, in the wedding season right now and a lot of really bright colors. And of course you're gonna do your traditional white weddings. And there's and a, this uh, is more of like a wedding piece mm -hmm. that I brought. Um, calla lilies. Calla lilies, hydrangeas, the white stock, and then the white orchids. That's beautiful. So we do everything mm -hmm. from the traditional to the modern and everything in between, mm -hmm. so. I kinda like yeah. all the, I didn't ever used to like sticks, but yeah. I think these are kinda cool. Those are the equisetum, they kinda resemble bamboo a little bit. They're very fine, but and so But I just are think these. that's so much Indeed. fun. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of, uh, you know, we get things from all over the world, but mm -hmm. we've been getting a lot of Australian greens lately, and they're just so much fun, different kinds of ferns and, you know, sticks like those. They just add a lot to an arrangement, I think. You do so. have the ability to make every bouquet look different. I try to. <laughs> I try. Are there new types of flowers besides these um, sticky things? You know, I'm always amazed. I always think I've seen every flower, but then sometimes, you know, we'll get like a mixed tropical box in from maybe Hawaii and uh -huh. we'll see some just really exotic, fun things. And this year especially, we've been getting in some just really unusual flowers with just a lot of bright color. And so it's just so much fun to be able to use those and 
come up with something really creative and different. And well, are the so. weddings are they um, traditional? Are they outside? They are everything from traditional to non-traditional, and we are doing some, believe it or not, that are outside right now. It's very, very warm, so um, a lot of the times, whenever we're doing a, like an outdoor wedding at this point in the season, we'll need to set it up right before the wedding starts. So that the flowers or can fresh, survive. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, every at least time the I, outdoor part of every it. Every time so. I come in Troctas, you all are covering um, a panel or covering yes uh, with fat with gorgeous fabric. So what are what uh, you're decorating the set? We are. We're uh, <laughs> one of the big things we do now is we'll take an entire wall and cover it in greenery. And mm -hmm. sometimes we'll just do the greenery, and then sometimes we'll actually add flowers onto that greenery, and it'll be an entire wall of flowers. And wow. it's just very, very dramatic, and it, it's breathtaking, really, when we get to do that. And so some of the weddings that we have upcoming are going to be very, very big, and we'll be doing those sorts of things with them. So. And I noticed also when I was in there recently, you all had lights, a lot more light lights. We do. So what, tell us about the lights. We have uh, these lights on a string that are sort of like filament bulbs, like the old-fashioned kind of light bulbs, and they just kind of create a more warm effect with the light and kind of have a copper tinge to them. People are using those for decorations, Absolutely. too. Absolutely, indoors and, and outdoors. And outdoor and, lighting, yeah. like on a patio yeah. and things. Uh -huh. They're very nice and they're weatherproof, so they're great and sturdy. Yeah. So you can put them with your pots. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just sit out there and enjoy them with your lights. <laughs> we've, See the, them while it's cool at night. <laughs> absolutely. In the last year, we've really updated our showroom mm -hmm. and just brought in some really, really really fun, different things that you can't find anywhere else in town. You, that's so for sure. <laughs> our owners, or our president, Gina, and her sister, Jamie, uh -huh. are at Market in Dallas right they now. Are? Yes, mm -hmm. they're so actually they there. Buying? They're buying everything that we will need to start through the fall and then even into the holidays, and those things will start arriving in the coming weeks, oh and then gosh. they'll make it onto the showroom and we'll redo it all again. <laughs> and so we're constantly updating it and really proud of some of the stuff that we're carrying out. Are you really all, fun. you're getting ready for the holidays? We do, we plan everything months in advance because we get so busy uh, towards the later part of the year. Um, so uh, we will be having an open house coming up in October. And that'll be really fun. And you fun. had one in, recently. We did. Uh -huh. It was a, our first one that we uh -huh. had. It was called a, an Enchanted Evening in the Greenhouse. And we had a couple hundred people show up and have uh, wine and hors d'oeuvres and just get to see the greenhouses and the showroom. and. So you let them come in your greenhouse? Well, absolutely. Yeah. Welcome all <laughs> the time. It was a really big success. We had a really good time. So, so. The, the people mingled with the flowers. Yeah. Yes, and if they had questions, we were all there to help them. You know, want questions on succulents mm -hmm. and how to take care of things. We were just happy to help them. It was amazing, and we'll be there again in October to help with mums and pansies and how to get the most for your... And you grow your own pansies and your own mums. Yes, yes. And your own poinsettia. Yes, yes. we do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they're starting right now on the poinsettias, believe no, it or they not. Are they're not. like little babies right now. Really? And by December, they will change color and turn oh red. And that is yeah, amazing. Yeah, in the back greenhouses, they're starting all that stuff right now. So. Well, we haven't talked about these succulents, so let's hear, let's hear what we've got here. Okay. Well, the succulents are very easy to take care of, not a lot of water. Um, they have a bunch of color in them, and they're just fun right now. I mean, they're very... So many varieties of yes. succulents. That and are, this is a terrarium. Of, yes, I've got uh -huh. a terrarium with some different types of rocks in there, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So That's beautiful. Yes, all the different textures with the zebra aloe and the panda paws mm -hmm. there kind of have different feels to them. And then I've also got some air plants mixed with the succulents on the, on the wood there. And the air plants are also very easy to take care of. They take in moisture from the air, so you just soak them about once a week, and they are perfect. And then over here, I've got even some aloe. So if you have a sunburn, that's even perfect. This is the aloe? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's even perfect on a patio table or something. But they're just very fun, and it's more sun they get. They can change and get a darker color. It's, they're very trending right now. And, this is a very good look. Well, thank and you. Yours, I mean, any, any one of these would be great on your table for any kind mm -hmm. of party. So, like the container here is just sort of an African-inspired woven mm -hmm. basket. We Beautiful. have a whole line of those. Is and that right? Just for example, mm -hmm. yeah, just some of the really fun things that in our showroom and even out in the greenhouse that you can and you can kind of come in and customize your own pot and just kind of design it yourself and make whether it's succulents or bedding plants or however you want to do it. So. I think you all go in there and it's find fun. the 
best pots for your flowers. We do. <laughs> we do. And the best ribbons. Absolutely. We have an amazing selection of ribbon and you know just little details like that really do make the difference when it comes to an I think it makes so. a huge difference. Absolutely. Uh -huh. yes, it just ties everything together. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So so they'll be looking at, at market for new ribbons, probably. Yes, ribbon, accessories, uh, you know, like this, the succulents and the air plants in this uh, piece right here are on driftwood, so they'll mm -hmm. be getting more of that driftwood. It's very trendy right now. You also have lots of crystals. I've seen, I see yes. one over there. I mean, some crystals. The little uh -huh. rocks and crystals mm -hmm. make it just kind of take it over the mm -hmm. top, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and reflect the light. So, so do people really have fun. to make an appointment to come and talk to you all, or can they just come in? And no, just come on in. Yeah. Um, um, and I'll be happy to help you select the right kind of plants for where you want them or for whatever party you have. I'd mm -hmm. be happy to, you know, sun, shade, and I can even pot them up for you. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So give us the address and your hours. Okay. We are open from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and then uh, 8 to 4 on Saturdays. And we are just... Uh, east of 63rd and Broadway Extension on the access road. So easy to get to. Very easy to get to, right there on Broadway Extension. So. And you can see the greenhouses. You can, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So highway. a lot of people don't even realize that we have so many greenhouses and how uh -huh. big the facility is, so we really encourage everybody to come out and come take a look. Come yeah. to the party. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, anything else about the greenhouse or anything else about flower ranging? Just I think that uh, bedding plants are half off right now, so it's off. a great time to come out if you still have some yes. you know, spots that need filled or whatever. Right. So that's a good thing. And then, and then the potted plants are yeah. half off, and a lot of the tropicals are half off. So it's a good time now if you just have some holes and you want to fill something in, mm -hmm. or if you're having a party and you mm -hmm. want some beautiful pots, we'll, we'll help you plant them and everything, and, and most of it is half off right now. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's, I'm glad you all came in to tell us. <laughs> so it's always fun to check out your unique designs and flower arrangements. We are so thankful that you all are one of our sponsors for Parties Extra and always create the most beautiful bouquets ever. Many thanks from all of us at the Oklahoma. Thank, Thank you, you all. Ellen. Thank you. Thank you.